So I think I'm filming. Yeah, I'm filming. So we're walking down to get a cable car. My second experience on one. <laughs> Not nervous at all, she said. I think this video might have a lot of dad's back in it. <laughs> yeah. So, on our way to, I can't remember the name of the place, but we're going up the mountain anyway. Love the rivers. Look at the colour of that water. Let's see if I can. Yeah. Ooh. Go like that. Second ever cable car ride. Done the we did one in Turkey as well. Yeah. Did we? Yeah. Did we? At Hotel Fantasia. And we did one in um, Tenerife, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it moved. I think it's a little purple on this. Mm. Look at that. Look, it's on skiing down the water. Skiing down the water. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that. I say that's not. It's crashed. It's crashed. It's crashed. Bloody VAA. It's well, it looks like it's a refuge of good stuff. Oh, you think? Well, oh, it could think. be actually. Yeah. Have you got caution snowstorm? My ears are going again, Dad. Oh, why is it only my ears? No, no, no. Why is it only my ears? No, no. Look at this. The camera is so good. Yeah, Dad, I do think that we should actually try. And Sophie. Okay, well, you and me can do it then. She'll say she wants to do it. She can do it. Does she want to do it? It's no yeah, it's a you holiday. Mean, the whole point is to relax. If she wants to, she can. She doesn't she want to, do it? Wow. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that's Zermatt from uh, probably about two, how many feet up would we be now? Two and a half thousand. So Schwartz is just under 2,600 meters. Right. Oh, look at this that. He is. Okay, filming. This is at Schwarzy and I'm going to pan round. Can't really see what I'm taking, the light is so bright, but hopefully you're going to be able to see the Matterhorn. Yeah, I think it's there. There it is. Amazing. <laughs> So we're sitting watching the skiing, aren't we, Soph? Mm -hmm. There aren't many walkers here. Oh, this is interesting. I'm going to show the show the snow here. So, if I make a snowball, it's weird because my, we don't get much snow in the UK, but it's usually powdery, isn't it? This goes into almost like a, it almost feels plasticky. Is it me just, it's just hard. Yeah, it just feels, it feels a bit synthetic, but that can't be right. Have you tried to eat it? Yeah, I've ate loads. Oh, you've eaten loads. <laughs> Woo! Oh, do they?
start to fall over the side. Let's go around the corner. See what's what. There's my two girls in the distance. John checking I haven't fallen over. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I think I'm still recording. The white gets quite dazzling after a while. Ooh. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of Switzerland in the mountains. Okay, off for a walk in sunny Zermatt today. That is the Matterhorn up there that you can see. And we're gonna go on a different trail today. Went on one a couple of days ago, um, which was amazing actually. We found a little lodge where they were serving drinks. But today, I don't think we're actually going to a place. We're just gonna go and have a walk. We're actually at very, we're at a low level here. We haven't got the cable car up anywhere. Um, we're just walking from the town. So yeah, this is a walk you can do from the town itself. It's probably about 10 minutes from the center of town at the moment. And let's have a look at the beautiful scenery. Snow is starting to melt. Although it's still quite thick. If you go up to about 2,000 meters plus, zoom in over here. Still getting too used to this camera, so apologies if it's a bit shaky. It's the cable cars. That's my brood ahead. Got the stream down there, running the most beautiful, I don't know what colour I'd call that, I'd call that galactic blue. We'll have a closer look and get a bit further down. It's an awful thing to say that I was hoping the sun would not be out, but it's blinking hot. <laughs> Anyhow, strip off the layer I guess. There's the cable cars. Went on those the other day. There's a little crucifix up here I'll show you in a moment. Let's go this way. And a statue. Not there yet. No. What does INRI stand Jesus for? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, of course I knew that, actually. Yes, I did know that. Did I know that, actually? Because they put something above the cross, didn't they? Here, here, here lies, here hangs the King of the Jews. Wasn't that what they said, INRI? Something like that. I'll look it up when I get back. I sit loose, bit of musical accompaniment to the video. Right, I'm going to walk on then a little bit further. Here's our little fellow here. Who's, he looks a bit like you, John. Right, I'm going to go on for a bit. <laughs> Where's the mountain? Oh, there it is. Okay. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Ah. I don't know what that big circular thing is there. Is that like the power thing for all the uh, cable cars? I guess so. Anyway. Wow. 
This is nice. As you can see, it's pretty mild here. I was going to say at ground level, but it's not ground level. Not in terms of where I come from, which is sea level. I don't know how high Zermatt is to start with, but the Matterhorn, which you can see there in the distance, is I think around about four and a half thousand meters. But I don't believe it's the tallest peak. <laughs> I might be wrong. I'm getting into my Michael Portillo now. <laughs> getting into my stride. <sighs> Isn't it lovely? Okay, let's keep walking on a bit. These pink posts that you see on the mountains as well, in the snow, are, I believe, pedestrian pathway signposts. Not that we need it today. Ooh, apologies. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what's around the corner. You definitely need to be fairly fit for these slopes. I lost a stone at the start of this year and I can feel how much easier it is and it'll probably be even easier Oops, if I lost another one. Oops, there we go. Keep the mountain in the distance. Let's see what the view is around the corner. One thing I really like in the town is all of the beautiful Easter displays. Rabbits, eggs, crosses everywhere. Really, really nice and really tastefully done. All in the best possible taste. As Kenny Everett would have said. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. And that's quite a steep drop. Let me show you the drop. Good job my mum's not here. Well, my grandma would say to that drop, John. Are the girls coming? Are they not coming? Oh, of course they are. <laughs> right. Okay, let's carry on. Oops, little boy. I don't like filming children without their consent. So I'll switch off. It's starting to snow again. <coughs> Excuse me. I love the sound of the water below has to be sad. I don't know whether you can see that, but there's an icy stream down there. Hand to the left in a minute. Stunning. It's ever so clever. This gimbal. Look at that. I have to say one thing, and maybe this is a Cancerian thing, because we like our own space, the Hermit, and it can definitely be too peopley. The world can be too peopley. But it's so hard, even on a mountain walk, to get away from people. Now, I realise they're thinking exactly the same thing about me, which is, oh my God, there's another woman there with a camera. But there's a part of me, there's a part of my soul that would just love to live in the Outer Hebrides or, I don't know, the wilds of Canada or America where you don't see anybody for days on end. Um, the walk we did two days ago up in the mountains in the snow, that was 
very quiet. But this obviously being nearer to the town, there's more people, of course there is. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's just, I'm trying to film this and there's usually somebody else in shot, which is a shame. <sighs> but anyway, I'm still very lucky to be here, of course, and it's glorious, but I'm just being real. Do you ever feel like that, that you just want to get away from everybody? Just, you know, everyone. I can live with the bird song, that's beautiful, and the elements. And it's nice to know there's a town down there that you can get to. But we're in such an overpopulated world, aren't we? It's so hard to just to have your own space a lot of the time. So I envy those of you that follow me that live, I don't know, in the desert or the outer wilds. Anyway, look, there's more people coming into shot, so I'm gonna turn the camera off again. But that's just me having a little moment. And then we'll uh, film some more. Bye, everyone. Beautiful scenery. The walk back down is going to be easier than the walk back up. I'm huffing and puffing a bit. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Quite a drop. Should we keep going for a bit longer, guys? Okay. That's, uh, Let's do this then. Let's get the shot right. Okay, got somebody coming, hold on. Take three. Hopefully there's no one around the corner. Just nature. That's just John. Oh. Okay. We saw a sign that there might be a cafe. <laughs> there might be a coffee up here in about half an hour. Beautiful. Right. I think this bit's a little bit flatter. So let's just walk. And hopefully you can enjoy the scenery. No people. Wonderful. I love the absence of health and safety on mountains. We live in such a cushioned world, you know. And you come up to the mountains and it's just like, it's your own bloody fault if you fall off the edge. Take some accountability and responsibility and watch your footsteps, uh, which I am doing. So I made a commitment a year ago to come back to Switzerland fitter and believe it or not, despite my out of breathness, I actually am. But next year I will be fitter. I'll be fitter again. You've got to keep raising the goalposts, challenging yourselves. And I tell you what, nature does that. Nature just whips your backside and says, you think you're fit? Go and try and hike up there. You see, I live, at, I live at sea level, so we don't have hills and mountains. That's my excuse, but it's a genuine one. I don't get to practice. Okay, let's keep going. Waiting for me again. 
my girls who are 22 and 18 of course are a lot fitter they're just racing up the mountain even though they don't do much exercise John who is older than me is really fit so I'm letting them down a bit but hey I'm doing my best at least I'm trying John had some fitness test recently and he came out with the body of a 25 year old and he's about 62 <laughs> that's what I'm up against guys that's the competition that's sweet look at that little place down there it's called Aeroflu doesn't look like there's anyone living in it now maybe you can hire it out how would you get up here though all your groceries there's no chair chairlift would you have a ski buggy do tell me those of you that live in the mountains what do you do how'd you get your stuff up here okay I'm gonna film for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna put the camera down we're gonna go let's get the angle right I'm gonna go around this corner I think we should be able to see the Matterhorn again but it might be hiding behind cloud I think it is what we haven't seen since we've been here is the pink top at sunrise or sunset coming which way round uh, the tip of the Matterhorn turns this beautiful rose gold pink ah two intrepid explorers hello girls hello, only mother shall I sit down for a minute with you we're about to get up again I think we are going to the restaurant, aren't we? I know, but I just mean like we can see something. What have you looked in Google Maps how far we are? Mm. Oh no. I hope not. Look, that's the Matterhorn, but you can't see it behind that cloud. I can see the outline. Yeah. It's getting cooler, isn't it? Do you want to go ahead? Okay. Let's do a pan from the back. That's the back view. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Amazing. Mm. Okay. Right, I promised you around the corner. Let's go around the corner. Pardon? excited then I thought it was a coffee stall no no way what is it Soph I know it seems mad saying is there a coffee shop but actually there are these little lodges that sell coffee we found one the other day at two and a half thousand feet so it is possible I'm gonna manifest it into being a nice coffee. Wait, right, let's see what's around the corner. Can you see the Matterhorn trying to peek out its way? Let's see. Hold on, wrong way. Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, a little bit maybe. Not much. No, it's hiding from us. It's saying, what gives you the right to see me just because you want to? Nature's a bit like that. Look at this little place. What is that? Uh, I can't see, my glasses are so dark. It's just a little animal shelter. Storage place. There's a few of them actually. There's another one there. Ah, oh, there's a few coming up. Is this civilization ahead? Sorry, wrong way. Okay, there we go. Right. I'm going to 
pause the camera in a minute because there's somebody else who probably doesn't want to be in my video. Look at this place down here. Look at that. That looks cool. Oh, it's John up ahead, for goodness sake. That's so why I thought it was somebody else. He's stripping off a layer. see the Matterhorn now. Can you see that? A little bit of an outline. Yeah. It's trying to snow. It's another statue coming into view of a walker. Didn't see it was you. How you doing? I'm going to have some water now. Say hello to everyone. Hello. <laughs> well, look at this. I've just realised there's a. Oh yeah. It's got the. Uh, Let's go this way. Matterhorn in. Oh. Oh this. yes. I will actually. Yeah. Thank you. Hold on. Let me pause this. I've had a water break. I'm going onward. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to see the Matterhorn. It's uh, shrouded. It's a shame. Never mind. Oh my god. I've got any personal trainers that follow me. Apologies. Still, at least I'm bloody doing it. For people that can't. And there are people that never will. And there are people that have gone before us. And are about to go. We're lucky to be alive. That's what the mountains make you feel. Just lucky to be alive. Ooh. Okay. It's a good job this isn't snowy path. I think I would have struggled like the other day. Oh, I wonder if that sign is a sign <laughs> for coffee. Oh my god. What does it say? Hold on. I'm not going to edit all this out. Yeah, it does. It says restaurant. Yippity doo da. Okay, I'm switching off. See you next at the restaurant. So, the restaurant sign said another 20 minutes. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I'm going to make it. It's really steep. It's getting it's getting steeper. And for the first time since I've been up here, I feel like I've got a bit of vertigo. The, the, oh my god, the drop is just you see that drop? They've all gone off and left me as well. Bloody great. <laughs> Keep your sense of humour, Amanda. I'm going to go on for a little bit, but oh, this is getting ridiculous. Stop moaning, woman. I will feel a sense of achievement having done it. It is beautiful. Look at that, guys. You know, I said I was feeling vertigo. Look at, look at it. I mean, this is actually quite high. This is quite high. That's the path down below that I was just walking on. There's a couple. Where are they? 
There they are. So it's zigzagging up. It's absolutely beautiful. The bloody hell is high. I'm entitled to feel vertigo. All right, come on, this last bit. It does look like there are some huts up here. <laughs> this is a sign of life. There's going to be an amazing view in a minute over that edge. Let's get there first. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now you understand why I'm out of breath. Wow. Wrong way, Amanda. That way. Oh, I still can't see John. Let's go this way. Holes and a signpost. Ooh. It's starting to snow. It's one of those little storage hats. No one's in them though. Zermatt. One thousand and a quarter STD. What does that mean? Feet or meters? It must be meters. So there's a panoramic view in a minute. walking. Look at that. No idea where my family have gone. There's a person coming down, that's not them. Who else's husbands do this? Ah, they might be sitting up there actually, in a bend, having a rest. I think they are. There he is. There he is. How much further is it? I'm struggling a bit to be honest. Is it flattish? Does it? Does... Right. Okay, come this way. I just feel a bit dizzy. Can you not go out of sight? Yeah. Right. Here's my hero. <laughs> Hold on, turn up. Got here. <laughs> Gonna go in in a moment, but I'll just show you how far up we've come. Stunning, eh? Right. Let's go and get warm. Let's see what 
is in the restaurant. Something hot and warming over there. God, it's blowing a hooli out there now. Yeah. <coughs> so what did we order? Yeah. They're amazing, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. So we're waiting for our soup. The trek back down after a nice bowl of soup. Some rye bread. Apple strudel. <laughs> and the sun is out, so all good. Got, we've got about an hour's walk, but it's nice and sunny. Look at that view. Can you just watch where you're going though, Luce, if you're walking fast? Absolutely stunning, isn't it, Luce? Did you enjoy your dinner? Yeah. What did you have? Look at those, look at that up there, Luce. What are they doing? Oh, she'll, she'll be here in a minute. We have come quite a way up, Luce, you know. I was out of breath. Do, 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 do. So yeah, when you're in nature like this, all the nonsense of the world thankfully recedes a little bit. things back in perspective. Puts life back in perspective. Look at that. Can you see now? The Matterhorn up there. How beautiful. I think I'll call this video How Beautiful. Oh my god. We're about to go around the corner. It's going to be really good in a minute. Even better. Just you wait. Just you wait, Henry Higgins. Just you wait. You'll be sorry, Henry Higgins. Sorry. I love that film. My Fair Lady, Audrey Hepburn. I have channeled Audrey once. She's due a rerun, I think, isn't she? <laughs> See if she'd like to return to speak to me. It's never a given. 
here. Look at that drop. Um, what do I remember about my channeling with Audrey? I think we talked ballet. She had a love of ballet. She shared with Princess Diana, who also loved ballet. It was Princess Diana that sort of introduced her to me, as it were, in channeling. And such an elegant lady and such a great humanitarian as well towards the end of her life. But her films were extraordinary as well. I love the old classics. So just breathing in this beauty. Mountains in the distance. What more do you want? Lunch in your tummy. On the homeward stretch. <laughs> Might go for a swim this afternoon. And then we've got two more nights here. And then we're getting the train back to Geneva on Monday. It's three and a half hours by train from Zermatt to Geneva. And then we're staying in a hotel overnight before we fly back on Tuesday, which will be nice. Uh, nice end to the holiday. What are you doing? Lucy, be serious. I mean, I don't mean be serious. I mean, just watch where you're going, please. Yes. And you, Sophie. Just the back of you's in it. There they go. Oh, it's, you know, I think it's even more impressive on the way back, John. I think it's more impressive on the way back. Well, the, the clouds lift. Have you yeah. seen the matter or not? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That, look, here. Through there. Just, yeah, that's, oh, yeah. But, well, yes, it has cleared up. You're right. But I think you enjoy the view more on the downwards yeah. slope. I still wonder the other ways in which people got there, though. What? I still wonder the other ways in which the people got there. Uphill somewhere. Yeah. Well, the path goes on to somewhere called with ST. Hmm. This is the steep bit here. Yeah. Turn my camera off. Okay. Just had to turn the camera off there. It was a bit dodgy. Back on uh, even ground. But look at that drop. bonus for climbs, climbing high that you get to go down. A bit hard on the old knees though. Talking of which, if you're still watching this video <laughs> and enjoying it, I'll tell you some of my tips with regards to knees. I. You know, I was talking about castor oil and uh, applying it onto your knees and how much of a difference I'd seen. But you need to get it in glass bottles and it needs to be cold pressed and hexane free. I didn't know what to do coming on holiday because I couldn't put a great big glass bottle of castor oil in my case in case it leaked everywhere. And I managed to find a roll-on, admittedly in plastic, but for the sake of either having it or not having it, I decided to bring it and it's been brilliant. It's literally like a roll-on deodorant, but you roll the oil onto your knees. Uh, I can't remember the brand or I would tell you, and to be perfectly honest, when I found it, there was only like three available. So manufacturers 
need to get onto this because it's a really easy way to apply it but it needs to be in glass ideally but anyway for the holiday I've been doing that and I wouldn't I don't think I well I would obviously have been able to make it up here pre castor oil days but it would have been a hell of a lot more painful and difficult and uh I genuinely haven't had any pain in my knees, it's been amazing. So I'm a complete castor oil convert. There's a doggy here. Oh, look at him. Looks like Shep. Probably Peter days. He is with somebody. I saw the guy earlier. He's probably around there having a wee. <laughs> Keep on going. Ooh. John just checking I'm still alive. Okay. Back to the old knees. <laughs> if you can hear me over the wind. Uh, so after a walk like this, really important to stretch and yeah, do some stretching because though I should be stiff as a board the next day. Could even do the ex stretching in the water, be nice. Oh, look at this, here we go. Isn't it beautiful? Past the old shack we saw on the way up. I shouldn't have started talking about my knees, they're hurting now. Ah. Keep them loose. You need to keep your legs loose. <laughs> Did he? Stunning. So yes, the cafe, there was quite a few people in it actually, walkers, so I didn't like to film too much, but it was like a wooden shack, had huge cowbells, hanging from the ceiling. We sat underneath a, uh, a picture of a huge angel on the wall. There were animal skins on the wall, old farming utensils. Oh, what else? Just think. people had vegetable soup which was nice didn't have any alcohol I thought that might not be a good idea coming down here yeah it's just really cute cute little place in the middle of nowhere so I've never skied a few people said do you ski I have never skied in my life and at age 57, I am a little bit nervous about starting it. It's a bit like getting on a horse for the first time. If you've never done it when you're younger, I do think it gets harder. But having said that, there seem to be a lot of people here who say they're beginners. And yeah, it does look fun. You've just got to get over the initial embarrassment of falling flat on your face. But that doesn't bother me, really. I don't know why John's just gone down there. He's back up again, fortunately. <sighs> Did you take a photo? Did you take a photo? <laughs> Good job I didn't get that on camera. I'll have to check I haven't got you doing that. In the distance. <laughs> so this is John. Cheers, John. Okay, catch me up. Sure it won't take you very long. I'm not averse to having a wee in nature, I have to say. As long as no one's around. The girls think it's hilarious, of course. But when you've got to go, you've got to go. Right. Round the corner. OK, 
Okay, it's getting less snowy now as we get further down, but still very beautiful. It's in that phase just before spring is about to really burst into bloom. I bet it, it's amazing here in summer, the lush greenness. But we're pre all that here. But still lovely. Lovely blue sky. Talk to yourself, Amanda. spoke too soon, this does get your knees. <laughs> I think I'll need to bath in a vat of castor oil when I get back. Ooh. I guess it's just muscles you're not used to using. Anyhow guys, hope you've enjoyed my witterings. I'll press play again when we get a bit nearer to the town and beside that beautiful water, which is just, oh the colour is glorious. It's like a milky blue, if there was such a colour as milky blue. Okay, back in a bit. The water. I'm afraid you're only able to see it through the bars of the fence, but better than nothing. Going back to the hotel now for a sit down. Look at the water for you. So this is the main
So our hotel's up here, Hotel Son, and it's a little bit off the main town square, which I quite like. It's also on quite a hill, so I think I'll have burnt a few calories this holiday, just walking up to it. Anyway, I'll take you inside. I love the fact that they've got these Easter displays everywhere, all over the town. Little bunnies. There's one. Oop. Yep, they are. <laughs> Let's go in. I'm tired. I want to rest. But I'll show you what it looks like in here. Who's this, who's this fine figure of a man coming in? Oh dear. Yeah, I know, I feel like that. It was uh, locked, the door. Oh, what, the restaurant? Yeah. Okay. Good. Just show you our room before we mess it up again. The cleaning's very good, isn't it, John? Yeah. Bathroom. Nice, that's my swimsuit there. Main room. And we've got a balcony, which I'll show you the view. Absolutely lovely. Look at that view. So, all very good. Anyway, I'm gonna say goodbye. Hope you've enjoyed this little walk. Bye.